What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on Detroit Become Human. Be taking on Pirates Cove today. Hoping my PlayStation 4 controller is done charging. So I can stop charging that. Okay, so these are some pretty quick missions. If you want to make them quick. I guess I'll talk to Luther. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. Zlatko. I saw the in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. You know, the next Is thing... Much farther? All right, hold on. We should arrive in an hour or so. The next truth that I... These oh my god. going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Zlatko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Okay, like I was gonna say, I hate this chair Mount that I have. Detected. Emergency brakes activated. Like, this is just me putting my hand on this, the armrest and then shaking it. Oh, it's not even doing it anymore. It's like this super loud. There we go. I don't even know if you guys can hear that. But, it's, I guess it's the left Stand side. Seconds. If I shake it, it's not even loose. The screws aren't loose or anything. It just sounds like the screws are loose when you shake it. It pisses me off. And then it like squeaks. I love the chair. But now it's just becoming noisy and annoying. If only we weren't a bunch of androids, we could pee what in the we... radiator. What did you do? See if it fixed it. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol. We can stay at this amusement park. I know you can make this one hella quick. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. You just avoid looking at all the side options. falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Right here. Go front door and examine. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. All right, we'll read this real quick.
the USS Iowa is missing. Oh no. did this this isn't important oh it actually might be what do I need to do bag check to make a bed for Alan I'll make the fire here that way we won't be smoked out you can never go wrong with a pirate pillow Let's just kiss her. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. A this unicorn. Is a story about a unicorn that. No! Not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met a gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Get up, Luther. Get over here. Yes, of course.
Night, Alice. Sleep tight. Right, now I gotta let Luther walk back to the corner. Sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. Do you we? Leave early if we want to avoid being seen. All right, I'm gonna move in my chair, and it's gonna be so loud. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Sometimes it's like a nightmare. Do you remember anything from your life before his laptop? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. There's the loud chair. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Ah! Probably, this is probably my favorite non mate like North, Kara, and Luther are my three favorite, like, main characters. It's probably, um... I just want to do this option to see what the heck kind of thing it does. My name is Jerry. I like We the were Jerry's. working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in the... She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. But like I was saying, it probably goes Luther, North, Jerry, Kara as my four favorite characters in this game. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I 
I hated merry-go-rounds when I was a little kid. I like despised them. It's like a story my mom always tells me. And when I was a little kid, she got so excited to take me to this cool little fair that goes on by our uh, by our old house. Um, it's just like a cool little local fair. Not like I don't know how to describe it. It's like really small. It's in like a small, not really small, but it's in a smaller park. I don't know, it's just not a big one, and they had a giant merry-go-round that year, and she was excited to take me, and I wanted absolutely no part of it. I, like, cried for, like, five minutes on it, and then she, then she took me off, and we went around the park, or the, the, uh, the, I guess the park, uh, uh, and, uh, had some fun, and then she tried to put me back on it, because she thought I love it, and I just didn't. <laughs> but let's go ahead, hop into this one, we gotta get shot by Hank. Why is it war? I shot the Tracys. It's supposed to piss them off. I get a glitched game, dude. Like, what is this? I just gotta be a dick and get shot by them. I'm just, like, I'm gonna be pissed if somehow this is messed up. Why is he all of a sudden warm to us? He should hate us. He didn't like us at the to start the Eden Club. How did I get all the way back to warm and why can't I read this? There we go. Mr. Kamsky. Alright, moment of truth. Can I get myself killed? Because that's all that matters. I just gotta be an extra dick about everything. I gotta bring up his kid. I gotta do everything. Alright, Hank. I need you to shoot me, buddy. Just blow my brains out. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before your son died. Uh... You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. There we go. It was your son, right? Get that thing going south. Yeah. His name was Cole. Is there a way to be a dick and like... I don't know. Is there just a terrible thing you can say that's just awful? We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. See here. Let's Nothing be cold. in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? Uh, let's do I'm a, a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. 
I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Oh, shit! when that girl kill herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. Come on, shoot me, Hank. Do it. But are you afraid to die, Connor? No. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hank's anger? Let's try Hank's anger. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Shoot me! Damn it, man! Where are you going? To get drunker. Damn it! Come on! Why is he warm all of a sudden? I spent this whole entire playthrough trying to make him tense. Why is he now warm? This is going to be the whole episode is to try to figure out if I have to replay a bunch of stuff in order for him to hate me again. This is annoying. Accessing the story chart. I got cheated by Detroit. Guess we're not doing Stratford Tower in this episode. Remain logical. I, I can't do... Okay, so... Let's see here. We gotta be a dick. Okay, I, I think I got this. Maybe. Hopefully. This is really stupid. He's supposed to hate that I shot the Tracys. So why is he all of a sudden warm? Get out of the car, Connor. I'll read that magazine again just in case. I can't stay logical there. I gotta be a dick. I don't know how to be a dick there, but I can't. The logical way does not work. I can't talk about his troubled past. I gotta just. There's gotta be another answer there. I think like two of the longer missions in the game are coming up. I might do like a special long episode. Oh no, they're- oh no, the next two are connected. Maybe I'll do those, because they're pretty connected to each other. Where am I going? Where am I going? Yeah, I'll probably do Stratford Tower and Public Enemy together in the next episode. They go together, it makes sense. Probably make for a decently long episode, but oh well. This one's gonna get cut short, so... Okay. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Yeah, before your son died. Come on, Hank. Spit all your words out so we can get into this. Ah, uh, personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea.
Everything I did was right, I think. Investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. Okay, here we go. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Is that the same answer I answered before? Defy, ironic, nothing. Defy. You you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Damn it, man! Where are you going? You get drunker. I need to think. I gotta go all the way back and fix that. I don't get why he's warm. I just don't. He should he should hate us because we shot the Trixie or the Tracys. Ah, <sighs> my God. Accessing my the storage game card. jacked up, and so now he likes me. We're warm because I shot the Tracys. That makes no sense. Now I gotta go back and do this. We gotta shoot the Tracys again. I'm so pissed. This was going so smooth until it's not smooth anymore. I guess there's supposed to be a certain dialogue options you're supposed to choose, which I think I chose them. I'm just gonna watch this video. Okay, why? Why is my volume so loud? Oh my god. Spill the drink. So personal question, cold, cold, not alive, nothing. Should I just try that? I didn't try the nothing, but we're not hostile. So, hmm. If it'll let me do it again, we'll try it. And then if that doesn't work, we'll come back here. This episode's going to turn into like 45 minutes because I got cheated by the game. So you go, personal question for... Da, 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 cold, cold, cold. Software, cold. Cold, cold, not alive, nothing. Okay. Please tell me it didn't Accessing overwrite yet. the story chart. 
Though I'm not sure exactly what overwrites and what doesn't. All right, bridge. Okay, it'll let me load checkpoint here. Okay, let's try this again. If this doesn't work, I'll have to redo. Which I am not looking forward to at all. At all. I actually am dreading this. It says you need him to be hostile, which if as that is the case, I can't get him to hostile here. I can get him to neutral, but I cannot get him all the way down to hostile. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. All right, so personal question. Can I ask you a personal question? Lieutenant. All right. Androids ask so many personal questions. Or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times. In different places? Well, there must be some link. Okay, so it says that I need to do software. Could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Cold, cold, not alive. Not what that. happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Okay, you not alive, you, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Nothing. There would be nothing. Pull it! You pussy! Damn you, Hank! I hate you, Hank, with a passion. Alright, we gotta go back to the Tracys. I'm so tilted. Accessing back to the, the Tracys. I gotta kill the Tracys again, and hopefully it fixes it.
Okay, save my progress. I'd be so tilted if I might have to play this game again just for this achievement. But all right, can't get Shit. too tilted. It's, Let's get we're this. too late. There's the one that looks like north, and there's another one that looks like north. Don't move! If I get this shit kicked out, I want to try something for the sake of trying. At this point in the episode, I want to try something for fun. Pick up the thing. Oh, and I... Okay, what if I don't do anything? No, oh, I can't lose that fight. Okay! I... Oh shit, Connor's on the aggressive! Hank, do something. Seriously, Hank, you are worthless. Somehow, when I shot him the last time, it did the pointing down and then it was like, oh, Quick, they're getting you're away. warm. What if I just- I'm just gonna let him kick the shit out of me. I think it's quicker to almost get out of break time events. I'm just gonna keep tapping the X button. Look, I still like halfway win this fight. Look at this. Connor's a badass. I, I failed every quick time event and he's still- Oh! Oh! Trash can to the face! Man broke no! Tracy. No! 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 <laughs> I knew I was next. I was so scared. No, dude! I, I think I fucked him oh, to stop, but he wouldn't. God. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed. Where's the stop moving? Oh, I hate my life. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. I Make me forget about that. the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Where's the gun? Come on. Let's go. Connor, grab the gun. It's right next to you. Connor, grab the gun. Shoot him. Shoot him! Yeah! That's even cold, more cold-blooded than usual. Congratulations, Connor. You got him. Why is it... Why? It points down and then it's like warm. What is that? PlayStation. What the... What the hell, Detroit? What the hell is this? Oh, this really makes me not want to... So, I guess I have to alter something else. So... Accessing hmm. the story chart. Okay, so here's the issue. If I go back to partners and it doesn't turn out... So hold on, let me check something. So if I go to... Can I spawn in at Public Enemy? I can. 
So, let's go back. This is going to turn into like an hour episode. I I'm not giving up. Okay, so partners. We need to go back to partners. And we need to spill the drink on him. So if I, sp we're going to try something. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to spill the drink on him and then I'm going to save and, or I'm going to quit. I'm going to go back to the main menu and see if that works. I'm not expecting it to, but it's not like the spilling the drink on him takes a long time. I'm just trying to save myself extra time because we're already at 40 minutes because <sighs> the game hates me. Why? Why when I shoot the Tracys do, do we become warm it points down heavily. He hates it. So why? 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 Ha. <sighs> fully tilted, but all of this can simply go away if we successfully do this. Hey man, I'm just looking for Hank. He's supposed to be at work. He's in here drinking. Okay, so now I can scan faces. There's Lieutenant Anderson. If it would scan, what is it doing? Scan him! It's Hank. There we go. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by My name Sucker. is Connor. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I can't do that. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I think we can go now. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Okay. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your We're information, hostile. I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They can even program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. <sighs> If I could figure out the bridge, we could be on to chapter 23 already. Okay, so it's saving right now. It's done saving, all right? Flow chart. Spill the drink. All right, main menu. Back to the main menu. Come on, please, game, please. Give me this. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do me dirty, at least give me this. Okay. I gotta Accessing check. Accessing the story chart. Please. No, man. I gotta complete the whole freaking thing. Oh, God. Why? Uh... Oh, my God. This actually is, un this actually is just, just, just terrible, dude. Absolutely freaking terrible. So I can't just quit mid. I gotta finish the whole mission. So we gotta go, we gotta finish that whole mission. And then, 
we got to go back and kill the Tracys. And then we have to... Oh, my God. All right. We'll do it in the next episode. <sighs> I'm so tilted. We'll do it in the next episode, though. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.